obviously we trust his leadership. Um, you know, you hate it for a guy like Coach Grant, but you know, we definitely trust trust Coach Riley and you know what he's doing for the program. Um, you know, I wish Coach Grant the best. We all wish Coach Grant the best. How'd you guys learn of the decision? Uh, he told us in a leadership meeting. I mean, you know, you know they sent us uh, a message as well. And then, you know, we met with uh, they met with the team on Monday. Uh, yeah. How much can you change at this point in the season? It's not necessarily about changing. It's just about evol about, about evolving and like getting better. And um, you know, just like I said, trusting Coach Rodgers' leadership, um, <clears throat> trusting the defensive coaches, and you know what they what they you know plan on doing to help us and you know stuff like that to be able to finish the season at a high level. What's been the mood of the defense just the last couple of days? Some big changes. Just uh, sticking by each other, sticking with one another. Uh, not necessarily just defense, but the team as a whole. You know, they felt they felt us. You know, as far as you know, uh, losing a coach. And, you know, but you know, as a team, we also know that it's uh, you know it's, it's next game up. You know, it's still it's still business to handle. Uh, we're just society feels the season at a high level. You're ten games in. How, how much can really change defensively um, this far in the season? Um, I mean, like I said, it's just all about evolving. Um, it's about getting better. And it's not necessarily about changing nothing. It's just all about what we can do better and what, you know, we know that there's things, a lot of things that we can do better individually, but also as a unit as well. So, you know, it's just really all about that. That's where our focus is at. What were the issues against the run on Saturday night? Uh, the issues against the run, I mean, we just, we just got to lock in more on, um, on our craft, like I said, individually and as a team. You know, but when it comes to just dominating and holding point on the run, uh, we'll be better. We'll be better. With Code DCs, how does it work in a meeting? Are they both talking or is it one talking? Or it's collaborative. So um, you know, we, we all communicate. Uh, players are coaches, coaches are players. Um, you know, but as far as you know, how that will work moving forward, I mean, that's a, that's a great coach, question for Coach Riley. I, I wouldn't know much. For the Russians, we've seen some issues the last couple weeks with all you guys being asked to drop into coverage and teams taking advantage of that. With the change, do you guys maybe say, hey, let's do certain things that maybe play to our strengths more? Do you feel like this kind of gives you an opportunity to reset things a little? Uh, that's a great question, you know, to ask Coach Riley and the defensive coaches, you know, whoever uh, will continue to handle those, you know, that, that play calling. I'm just going to, you know, sit back and trust them. Um, you know, I'm, I'm talented. We all are talented, so I trust them in knowing how to use it. I got here late, Jamil. How did you guys find out, and what was your reaction in the moment? Uh, we just found out through, you know, leadership meeting initially, and then, you know, as they sent out a text to the team, we also met on Monday as a team. Um, just obviously to review the game and, you know, talk about the news. Um, and then the reaction is just, I mean, it's simple. It's just all about, uh, we still got a game to focus on. You know, we focus on Oregon. Uh, you know, we hate it for Coach Branch. However, you know, we, we also trust Coach Riley's leadership and, you know, his take on it as well. So. Has there any been, been any differences in practices? Has there any been any differences? Yeah, but you know, just new, yeah, our energy level has went up. I mean, but it's been like it's not just because they made a coaching change. You know, it's been like that the past couple weeks. Um, so, I mean, I guess you could say that's a change, but I, I think that's a positive change. So, like I said, we we gonna, we gonna be ready this week. I promise you. Have there been any structural changes in practice? You know, all different drills, different orders, anything like that? Just, um, nope. Just all about getting better. One more. What gives you that confidence that's at your kind of a rough slide here that this week can be different and kind of get started from there? Um, we still hear him. I mean, you know, it's just all about being optimistic, um, knowing the guys that you're around. Um, you know, just because you've had a, a couple of rough weeks doesn't necessarily mean everything's going wrong. Um, to be quite honest with you, I think the past, I mean, past month, we probably had the best practices we've had since I've gotten here, whether it be workouts, Early morning workouts, meetings, uh, people coming to meetings with actual notebooks, with pens, like being prepared. Everybody, like starters, second string, third, whatever you want to call it. So, I mean, when it comes to that, I, I think you know that's like that's what it is. Thank you, Jamil. <laughs>